minutes, one minute, 15 seconds and counting. T-minus one minute. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. We're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T-minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. Let's go for auto sequence start. T-25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T-15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main turn and start. are now throttled back up and performing in full cut capability. At the dock shuttle weighed more than four and a half million pounds and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight, the main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half. Solid rocket, bo rocket boosters alone are burning, burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second, and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds lighter than when it began. Discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude, traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. Booster officer in the mission control center has confirmed the solid rocket booster separation. All systems continuing to, continuing to function well. Two orbital maneuvering system engines on Discovery's tail are now firing as well, providing the shuttle an extra boost into orbit. The engine burn will last one minute and 44 seconds. Discovery, two engine tail. That call indicates that Discovery can now reach Merol in Spain should one of the three main engines fail. However, all three of those main engines are currently working well. Two minutes and 59 seconds into the flight, and Discovery is now 79 miles away from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, 48 miles in altitude, and traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. <laughs> 